basic factors of comparative education approaches to comparative education in this session we are going to discuss some of the mcq on the mentioned topic the first mcq of this uh, mcq series is which approach to competitive education focuses on the role of education in economic competitiveness option cultural approach human capital approach political approach philosophical approach answer of this question is answer b that is human capital approach <clears throat> next the concept of policy borrowing in competitive education is most closely associated with of some david phillips michael sadler isaac kendels robert arnobe answer of this question is david phillips next which basic factor in compar comparative education refers to the historical event that have shaped a country's educational system option economic system social structure historical backward background cultural traditions answer of this question is option c that is historical background next the world culture theory in comparative education argues that option each country should preserve its unique educational traditions global models of education are increasingly shaping national system educational systems are primarily influenced by local factors education should focus on preserving cultural diversity answer of this question is option b that is global models of education are increasingly shaping national system next which approach to comparative education emphasizes the role of education in social mobility option functional functional nationalist uh, functional nationalist approach functionalist uh, approach conflict approach systems approach ecological approach answer of this question is option a that is functionalist approach next the concept of educational governance in comparative education refers to the option the management of individual schools the process of structure through which education system are directed and controlled the role of government in funding education the international regulations governing education answer of this question is option b that is the process and structures through which education system are directed and controlled next which basic factor in comparative education encompasses the legal framework governing education options social structure economic system political ideology legal system answer of this question is option d that is legal system next the dependency theory in comparative education primarily argues that all countries should develop independent educational system educational development in periphery countries is constrained by core countries education should focus on developing technological skills educational policies should be determined by international organization answer of this question is option b that is educational development in periphery countries is constrained by our core countries next which approach to comparative education focuses on the role of education in political socialization options cultural approach economic approach political approach philosophical approach answer of this question is option c that is political approach next the concept of educational decentralization in comparative education primarily refers to options the process of moving schools to rural rural areas 
the transfer of educational authority from central to local levels, the diversification of curriculum, the privatization of educational institution. Answer of this question is option B that is the transfer of educational authority from central to local levels. Next, which basic factor in comparative education refers to the system of production and distribution of good and services? Social structure, economic system, cultural traditions, political ideology. Answer of this question is option B that is economic system. Next, the new institutionalist perspective in comparative education primarily focuses on options, the role of traditional institutions in education, the impact of global model on national education system, the importance of local decision making in education, the influence of economic institutions on education. Answer of this question is option B that is the impact of global models on national education system. Next, which approach to comparative education emphasizes the role of education in personal development? Option, sociological approach, economic approach, humanistic approach, historical approach. Answer of this question is option C that is humanistic approach. <coughs> Next, the concept of educational borrowing is often criticized for option being too slow to implement, neglecting the importance of context in education, focusing too much on developing countries, overemphasizing quantitative data. Answer of this question is option B that is neglecting the importance of context in education. Next. Which basic factor in comparative education includes the distribution of power and authority in a society? Options, economic system, social structure, political ideology, cultural traditions. Answer of this question is option C, that is political ideology. Next, the world system theory in comparative education is associated with options. Emmanuel Wallerstein, Paul Fiore, John Dewey, Pierre, Pierre Bordy. Answer of this question is option A, that is Emmanuel Wallerstein. Which approach to comparative education focuses on the role of education in social reproduction? Options functionalist approach, conflict approach, system approach ecological approach. Answer of this question is of option B that is conflict approach. Next, the concept of educational resilience in comparative education refers to options the ability of education system to resist change, the capacity of students to overcome adverse, adversely and succeed, the durability of educational infrastructure the stability of educational funding over time. Answer of this question is option B that is the capacity of student to overcome adversely and uh, adversity and succeed. Which basic factor in comparative education encompasses the norms, values and belief of a society? Option social structure, economic system, cultural traditions, political ideology. Answer of this question is option C that is cultural tradition. Next, the critical theory perspective in comparative education primarily emphasizes option the role of education in economic development, the importance of preserving cultural, cultural traditions, the way in which education system perpetuate social inequalities the benefits of standard standardized testing answer of this question is option c that is the way in which education system perpetuate social inequalities next which approach 
to comparative education examines the impact of globalization on education system option humanistic approach economic approach globalization approach historical approach answer of this question is option c that is globalization approach <coughs> next the concept of educational convergence in comparative education suggests that options all educational system are becoming more similar due to globalization educational system should focus on local traditions and values there is an increasing divergence in educational policies worldwide education should be tailored in into individual needs answer of this question is option a that is all educational systems are becoming more similar due to globalization next which basic factors in comparative education includes the family community and other social institution option so economic system social structure cultural traditions political ideology answer of this question is option b that is social structure next the post colonial theory in comparative education primarily explores options the role of education in economic development the impact of colonial history on contemporary education system the benefits of standardized testing the preservation of cultural traditions answer of this question is option b that is the impact of colonial history on contemporary education systems <clears throat> next which approach to comparative education focuses on the role of education in promoting social justice options functionalist approach conflict approach critical approach ecological approach answer of this question is option c that is critical approach the concept of educational transfer in comparative education refers to options the movement of students between different educational institution the adoption of educational policies and practices from one context to another the relocation of educational facilities the transfer of knowledge from teacher to students answer of this question is option b that is the adoption of educational policies and practices from one context to another next which basic factor in comparative education includes the distribution of wealth and resources options social structure economic system cultural traditions political ideology answer of this question is option b that is economic system next the cultural reproduction theory in comparative education is associated with options emmanuel wallstein paul ferre john dewey pere bourdieu answer of this question is option d that is pere bourdieu next which approach to comparative education examines the relationship between education and power options functionalist approach conflict approach system approach ecological approach answer of this question is option b that is conflict approach next the concept of educational innovation in comparative education refers to option the implementation of new teaching methods and technologies the standardization of curriculum across schools the preservation of traditional educational practices the centralization of educational governance answer of this question is option a that is the implementation of new teaching methods and technology next which basic factor in comparative education refers to the hierarchical arrangement of individuals in society options social structure economic system cultural traditions political ideology answer of this question is option a that is social structure next 
the cultural capital theory in comparative education is associated with options Emmanuel Wellston, Paul Fiore, John Dewey, Pierre Bourdieu. Answer of this question is option D that is Pierre Bourdieu. Next, which approach to comparative education focuses on the impact of technological change on education? Options functionalist approach, conflict approach, system approach, and technological approach. Answer of this question is option D that is technological approach. Next, the concept of educational equity in comparative education refers to the equal distribution of educational resources and opportunities, the implementation of standardized testing, the preservation of cultural tradition in education, the focus, the focus on local educational needs. Answer of this question is option A, that is the equal distribution of educational resources and opportunities. Which basic factor in comparative education includes the belief, custom and practices of a society? Options, social structure, eco economic system, cultural traditions, political ideology. Answer of this question is option C, that is cultural tradition. Next, human development theory in comparative education primarily focuses on the role of education in economic growth, the importance of preserving cultural tradition, the development of individual capacities and well-being, benefit of standardizing, uh, standardized testing. Answer of this question is option C, that is the development of individual capacities and well-being. The approach to comparative education emphasizes the role of education in cultural transmission, option sociological approach, economic approach, cultural approach, historical approach. Answer of this question is option C, that is cultural approach. Then the concept of educational quality in comparative education is often measured by Options, the number of school in a region, student achievement and learning outcomes, the preservation of traditional educational practices, the centralization of educational governance. Answer of this question is option B, that is student, uh, student achievement and learning opportunity, uh, outcomes. Next, which basic factor in comparative education includes the laws and regulation governing education? Options, economic system, social structure, political ideology, legal system. Answer of this question is option D, that is legal system. Next, the human right-based approach in comparative education emphasizes options, the role of education and in economic development, the preservation of cultural traditions, the importance of education as a fundamental human right, the benefits of standardized testing. Answer of this question is option C, that is the importance of education as a fundamental human right. Next, which approach to comparative education examines the impact of education on social change? Options, functionalist approach, conflict approach, system approach, social change approach. Answer of this question is option D, that is social change approach. Next. The concept of educational planning in comparative education refers to options, the day-to-day -day management of schools, the systematic development of educational education policies and programs, the preservation of traditional educational practices, the implementation of standardized testing. Answer of this question is option B, that is the systematic development of educational policies and program. Next, which basic factor in comparative education encompasses the moral and ethical values of a society. Options, economic system, social structure, cultural traditions, political ideology. Answer of this question is option C, that is cultural traditions. Next, the social capital theory in comparative education is associated with options, Emmanuel Wallerstein, Paul Fiore, John Dewey, Pierre Bourdieu. 
आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन डी दैट इज पियर ए बर्डियो नेक्स्ट व्हिच अप्रोच टू कंपैरेटिव एजुकेशन एम्फसाइजेस द इंपोर्टेंस ऑफ क्रॉस कल्चरल अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑप्शंस सोशियोलॉजिकल अप्रोच इकोनॉमिक अप्रोच कल्चरल अप्रोच हिस्टोरिकल अप्रोच आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज कल्चरल अप्रोच नेक्स्ट द कांसेप्ट ऑफ एजुकेशनल सस्टेनेबिलिटी इन कंपैरेटिव एजुकेशन रेफर्स टू ऑप्शंस द ड्यूरेबिलिटी ऑफ एजुकेशनल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर द लॉन्गेस्ट वेबिलिटी ऑफ एजुकेशनल पॉलिसीज एंड प्रैक्टिसेस द सेंट्रलाइजेशन ऑफ एजुकेशनल गवर्नेंस द प्रिजर्वेशन ऑफ कल्चरल ट्रेडिशन इन एजुकेशन आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज द लॉन्गेस्ट वेबिलिटी ऑफ एजुकेशनल पॉलिसी एंड प्रैक्टिसेस नेक्स्ट व्हिच बेसिक फैक्टर इन कंपैरेटिव एजुकेशन रेफर्स टू द बिलीफ्स ऑफ बिलीफ्स एंड प्रैक्टिसेस रिलेटेड टू गवर्नेंस एंड अथॉरिटी ऑप्शंस इकोनॉमिक सिस्टम सोशल स्ट्रक्चर पॉलिटिकल आइडियोलॉजी कल्चरल ट्रेडिशंस आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन सी दैट इज पॉलिटिकल आइडियोलॉजी नेक्स्ट द कैपेबिलिटीज अप्रोच इन कंपैरेटिव एजुकेशन इज एसोसिएटेड विथ ऑप्शंस अमृतिया सेन पॉल फेरे जन डीवे पेरे बर्डियो आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन ए दैट इज अमृतिया सेन व्हिच अप्रोच टू कंपैरेटिव एजुकेशन फोकसेस ऑन द रोल ऑफ एजुकेशन इन ह्यूमन राइट्स ऑप्शंस सोशियोलॉजिकल अप्रोच इकोनॉमिक अप्रोच ह्यूमन राइट्स अप्रोच हिस्टोरिकल अप्रोच आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन सी दैट इज ह्यूमन राइट अप्रोच नेक्स्ट द कांसेप्ट ऑफ एजुकेशनल इंक्लूजन इन कंपैरेटिव एजुकेशन रेफर्स टू ऑप्शंस द इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स विद डिसेबिलिटी इनटू मेन स्ट्रीम एजुकेशन द फोकस ऑन प्रिजर्विंग कल्चरल ट्रेडिशन इन एजुकेशन द स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन ऑफ करिकुलम अक्रॉस स्कूल्स द सेंट्रलाइजेशन ऑफ एजुकेशनल गवर्नेंस आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन ए दैट इज द इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स विद disability into mainstream education next the cultural reproduction theory in comparative education suggest that option education is a means of social mobility schools help perpetuate perpetuate existing social inequalities education primarily serves economic functions schools are neutral institutions answer of this question is option b that is school helps perpetuate existing social inequalities next which approach in comparative education focuses on understanding the specific cultural context of educational system options functionalist approach systems approach cultural approach ecological approach answer of this question is option c that is cultural approach next the concept of globalization in comparative education refers to option the global homogenization of education the adoption of global educational practices to local context the resistance of global educational influences the isolation of educational system answer of this question is option b that is the adaptation of global educational practices to local context which basic factors in comparative education involves the ideologies and policies governing a society options social structure economic structure political ideology cultural traditions answer of this question is political ideology next the critical theory approach in comparative education primarily focuses on options the technical efficiency of educational system the role of education in mainstream power structures the historical development of education the biological aspect of learning answer of this question is option b that is the role of education in maintaining power structures next the concept of lifelong learning in comparative education emphasizes option formal education during childhood continuous education throughout a person's a person's life 
education for a specific career path, the importance of higher education. Answer of this question is option B, that is continuous education throughout a person's life. Next, which approach in comparative education examines the role of technology in educational change? It means option is technological determinism. Next, the concept of educational privatization in comparative education refers to option state control over educational institution, the transfer of educational services to private entities, public funding of private schools, the evolution of public schools. Answer of this question is option B, that is the transfer of educational services to private entities. Next, the post-colonial theory in comparative education primarily examines options the economic development of former colonies, the legacy of colonialism in current educational systems, the influence of ancient cultures on education, the role of interna international, international organization in education. Answer of this question is option B, that is the legacy of colonialism in current educational system. Next, the basic factor in comparative education considered the natural and physical environment is a region of a region, options, social structure, economic stru system, geographical condition, political ideology. Answer is option C, that is geographical condition.